Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, why does Texas have such a booming economy year after year? We'll be talking to a leading expert next. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Well, as a small business owner myself, I love Texas. I love how uh, pro-business the state is. Everything from no state income tax to not a lot of government interference with small business owners. To talk about that, Ken Rundis, he is with the Texas Concilium. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. It's an uh, excellent uh, opportunity to be here, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, let's first start uh, by talking about the Texas Concilium. What is it? Yes, Texas Concilium exists for the sole purpose of making small business and large business successful in Texas. We focus on excellence and uh, we're looking for companies that represent excellence to award that and then get those companies together to really put them together to help their excellence continue to grow. Sure, and Texas is just booming. I, I read where each year some 200,000 people come to the Metroplex. So uh, if you're a realtor and you're complaining about the economy, try selling homes in Detroit, right? Yes, sir, yes, I mean, sir. Yeah, it's uh, always been a, a blessing to be in Texas and I've been here, I say I got naturalized because I married a native Texan, so I've uh, been here for a long time though, since 1980. Absolutely. And one of the things that the Texas Concilium prides itself on is helping small business owners and, and um, medium sure. to large business owners as well. We're going to show uh, the website. And as we scroll down the website, Ken, let's talk about how you guys work with businesses. Sure. We focus on the companies first that represent excellence. And then we also look for companies that have particular needs or issues. We have a wealth of advisors. Concilium stands for the Latin word of a council of wise advisors. There's really a shortage of wisdom in our data age where we're flooded with data and we need that council of wise advisors. So that's what we pride ourselves in, putting together a group of people that can help your business. Sure. And each year you honor um, different business owners who have really exemplified the values of the Texas Concilium. And uh, you've gotten the attention of uh, Greg Abbott as well. In fact, yes, sir. I found a wonderful video. Let's go ahead and roll that. Hi, this is Governor Greg Abbott. And I want to say congratulations to my good friend, Jerry Jones on being the inaugural recipient of the Texas Concilium's Lifetime Achievement Award for Business Excellence. Jerry exemplifies what it means to be a leader in business as well as a leader in the community. Thank you for being an inspiration to aspiring entrepreneurs and business leaders everywhere. And also I say thank you to the Texas Concilium for the support that you all provide to businesses across the entire state. Thanks in part to your hard work and dedication as well as collaboration. The Texas economy is stronger than it's ever been. Working together to build a thriving business environment, we will continue to elevate the Texas economy to even greater heights. Wow, that's very impressive. And that, that was some four years ago, and each year they honor an, another yes, um, individual or company. Um, let's talk about your background. So you came in up through the grocery store world? Yes, I did. I had a career in the grocery industry while I was getting a computer science degree. And uh, then working in technology, I realized how much more it's about people than it is about technology to really thrive and succeed. And then got more into the leadership side and helping leaders succeed in transformations. 
Yeah, you were telling me right before the show that somebody in the grocery industry said, why are you messing with all this technology? <laughs> yeah, I had the uh, district manager come tell me, there's no future in technology. Stay in the grocery industry. Everybody <laughs> needs to eat. So uh, I, th I think it's turned out pretty well. <laughs> sure. Uh, so what's one of your favorite stories of, of a company you've helped? Great uh, opportunity. There are many that have been a part of Texas Concilium. One personally that has a, a good story and that is a company that had a leader that had failed at one business was starting another and uh, he needed wise advisors around him. Ended up growing his company tenfold and making the Inc. 500 top companies uh, in the United States for a couple years in a row and gave a lot of his uh, credit to having that council advisors around him to work in a small group and help him learn and grow together. Sure. And sometimes business owners have blind spots, don't they? Very much so. And that's one of the other opportunities that's really unique about Texas Concilium. We have a unique set of instruments we use to help business owners identify. So what you don't know, some people say can't hurt you. Well, it can kill you. And uh, especially in business, I think most of you know that. Sure. I was impressed with uh, the uh, roster of, of coaches that you guys have put together. We're going to pull up the website, and as we scroll down these um, coaches, can you talk a little bit about what kind of coaches um, the Texas Concilium likes to attract? Yes, we have uh, a good wealth of advisors and like to keep people that have a proven track record of representing our values as well as a track record of helping businesses succeed. So. It truly, they focus on the other business. They're not self-serving, they're other serving. And they have a, a success record that says for any particular area that we find uh, an industry in supply chain or any of the manufacturing areas, whatever part of the business, we can pull in an expert that has expertise in that area to help. And you help businesses all over the state? All over the state of Texas. That's unique in that we don't go outside the state of Texas, but Texas is pretty big. So we still have a wide reach and a lot of opportunity. So when a company comes to you, you're able to say, okay, we could draw from this person. They have experience in this industry. Yes. Yeah, so industry experience as well as cross industry experience, which sometimes, as you know, as you're growing a business, you need people that can understand what's happening around you, not just within your industry, but maybe disruptors or things that are happening that you need to understand to help your business. Sure. And I get to see Ken quite a bit because uh, there's an interview series that they're conducting. We got a little video of Ken in action and I got to compliment you. You have that kind of anchorman look about you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, what kind of, uh, which, tell us about your interview style. Yes, I, I like to bring out the other person mainly to make sure we're getting the essence of what they view excellence is and why they've been nominated. We have just so many great companies in Texas, so it's really an honor to feature them and have an opportunity to bring them out and hear their story about what they uh, have contributed to the state of Texas and what they need to help us uh, with them continue to succeed. And uh, you strike me as a kind of a curious person who you, oh, very you, much you, so. you, you want to know why people take don't you? I, I do. I've always, uh, I got into computers and then realized that's what drives me is understanding people and why people do what they do. And, uh, we do know there's a, a great opportunity in business for that because it is mostly about people and people making decisions that can make or break a company. Sure. And I know uh, chat GPT and AI is all the rage right now. Yes. Uh, but as industries go more high tech, they, they sometimes lose uh, focus um, and, and people do business with people. That is so true. My favorite quote is when I first worked with Herb Kelleher at, at uh, Southwest Airlines. And he said, we are high touch, low tech. So don't try to bring too much technology in here. We're about people. Now, after a few minutes, he realized he still needs a lot of technology and he needs that to help his business, but he never wanted to lose that focus that matters most. And uh, we're in the digital age and what we're understanding even more is there's a very much a shortage of wisdom and relationships that people are still craving. Yeah. Well, I'm, you know, I get frustrated when I have to call one of the airlines and <laughs> I'm like, agent, agent. Yeah, yeah for sure. There's <laughs> I a, just want to talk to a person. There's opportunities in every company there, as we've seen, the consumer society is so focused on efficiency and productivity. I really believe that the pendulum is going to swing back the other way with companies that are successful understanding 
that they need to engage their culture and their people more so than the technology. Sure. If a business owner is watching this right now saying, man, I think I just found my group, um, what's the next step? They contact you guys through the website? Yes, there's a place on our website you can click uh, to say uh, where you are with your company and what you're looking for as far as the stage in your company and the type of business. And then we will uh, use our assessments to align you with true peers. That's another unique aspect. We're not gonna just throw you in a group with anybody. You're gonna be with our award winners and with people that are champions in business, because it's fun to win. Uh, it's, it's not just in sports. We can enjoy winning uh, as a team in business as well. And how does a business owner know if they need somebody like you? They really need me if uh, they want help and perspective, uh, feeling like they're alone, there's nobody they can share what they need or what they can uh, solve problems with and just need that other perspective to talk to. I'm always glad just to sit down over lunch or coffee and share some perspective together, even if it's not about joining a group. Outstanding. Man, you've been a great interview. We're, we're going to have to have you back. We're going to end with the website, which is uh, txconcilium.org. Ken Rundus, thanks for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.